Hello everybody, I am doing a commentary on Operation Metro Rush today. As you can see, I'm using the F2000, and yeah, this commentary is live by the way, so I probably won't do that good in the gameplay, so, because I'm talking so much, but yeah, I'm using the Assault class, if you didn't know. So, uh, today I'm just going to be talking about the gameplay and not really anything in particular because really nothing's on my mind. I haven't gotten Modern Warfare 3 yet, so to be honest, there's really nothing for me to talk about. Oh, and by the way, this is actually my first commentary for Battlefield 3, so I hope you enjoy it. And I just like to say that I haven't played Battlefield 3. Oh, tch, the Facebook is ringing. I haven't really played Battlefield 3 before because, uh, I mean, I haven't really played the Battlefield series before because I used to be a complete Call of Duty fanboy. And I was like, every time someone was like, Battlefield, and I'm like, oh, Battlefield? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a peculiar game. It's not that bad, it's not that good, but recently I've actually really taken a liking to Battlefield. Oh crap, did you just see that fail there? Sorry, sorry. So, recently I got Battlefield 3 and I've, I've been no lifing it for about the past two weeks and I've already got like 24 hours recorded on it, which is pretty amazing. Oh, did you see that? Almost quad feed. I mean, triple feed. And I am absolutely loving this game. It is a great game. It is extremely balanced. And I have to say, overall, it is very fun. Oh, another knife fail. I've been getting a lot of those today, haven't I? Mm. <sighs> That rocket served me right for camping. So uh, I just like to say, my favorite class in this game right now is probably Assault. And the reason for that is, well, if you didn't know, in the other Battlefield games, uh, there was no such thing as a support class. There was Medic, and so now they made the support class, which is like the Assault class from uh, the other battlefields and now the assault class became the medic but it can also be like the assault class so it's pretty much a hybrid and it's really confusing unless you've actually played the game so uh, I love using this class because I can not as well as using like explosives and all that I can also revive people and use med kits so it's it's a really good mix what they've done here and I've really got to, got to give them the thumbs up for doing this. And uh, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm currently playing the game on PC. And PC, I'd say, is probably the leading, leading console or platform for this game right now and not like COD which the Xbox is and all the CODs are like just ports to the PC I have to really really say that the PC version of this game is just it's just it's just fantastic no other way to describe it because if you guys do not know yet that the graphics for Battlefield 3 are capped for consoles and uh, on PC everything goes probably one notch higher for all everything graphics wise and currently i am playing the game on ultra graphics which is the highest highest graphics you can play the game on but you probably can't notice it since you're probably going to be watching this through a video but i can tell you everything graphics wise in this game is just fantastic and not only are the graphics extremely good the gameplay is is just absolutely awesome so, another thing about this game though is, 
People always say that Battlefield, you have to be in a team to play it properly, but that is actually completely false. You can play this game by yourself. I mean, not by yourself, but you can play as a lone wolf if you want, but you're not going to get the benefits of playing in a squad or, as I say, a team. And the reason for that is everything you do in this game gives you experience. And by that, I mean, whenever you heal your teammate, you get experience from it. Whenever you assist in a kill, you get experience for it. Whenever you revive someone, you get experience from it. And all of that adds up. And a lot of those benefits you can't like get experience from if you're not in a squad. Because like say if a squad member like spawns on you, you get EXP for that as well. So if you can see already like oh that that was just stupid. If you can see already all the benefits that you can get for being in a squad or a team as I say, then yeah, you might reconsider doing this game, but really there's no difference. Oh, by the way, I should also mention, like, if you're in a squad, you could also get these extra perks, which your teammates might have, which is also an extremely good addition to the game. And, uh, yeah, the guy over there wanted to use the ERD bot, which I'll show you right now. So basically this is like a remote control bot which you can use to control and basically you can like kill people with it by burning them and it's really funny trust me and mainly what's good about the bot is that you can remotely like you can remotely arm the MCOM stations which is like the how should I say like the objectives in in our uh, Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3. So that's that's a really good addition to the game, in my opinion. And uh, right over here, I'm about to use my EOD bot to arm the objective over there. Oops, can't go through that way. Trust me, this thing is extremely, extremely hard to control. It's not even funny. The graphics, I mean, not the graphics, the controls are extremely sensitive. So if you just literally, oh no, get away from me. All right, that's it, that guy's dying. Oh well, and by the way, you only get to use one EOD bot per life, so that really sucks. Unless a guy comes and gives you some ammo but that hasn't happened to me yet damn claymores yeah claymores in this game work the same as cod so <laughs> very very annoying trust me oh wow I am actually really doing bad now for some reason. Probably just because I'm doing the commentary. Oh, doing a live commentary is not easy, trust me. <laughs> From personal experience. By the way, you only get one perk on that card, but these perks are very useful as well, so I wouldn't really judge them. And by the way, once you get to a higher level, you actually get team perks, which are also very useful. So, I just lost the game, but I don't really care. It's not like COD. So, thanks for watching my commentary. I hope to see you another time. And...